Today, we're potting up some figs from the hydroponic system. If you like that kind of thing, stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Be The Change Farm. Today, we're gonna pot up some fig cuttings. Figs are super easy to take cuttings from and to pot up. Now, if you saw my last video about my hydroponic cloning operation, <laughs> I grew these figs in a hydroponic system from cuttings from trees I had on the farm. And look at these roots. I pulled all of these out this morning. Got tons of them here, probably at least 75, 80. First thing you have to do is you got to fill up a bunch of pots with potting soil or compost. I took all of this soil from my compost pile, which is covered under these tarps. It's mostly spent microgreen potting soil that I use uh, indoors to sell to chefs. But I throw all my potting soil basically that I buy bagged into here after I've used it for microgreens. So, all that's been sitting for a while, and it makes good plantings for trees, or bushes, or flowers, all right? Uh, the reason I like it for trees is it's, it's not perfect, it's just broken down, some broken down organic matter with the potting soil. Um, but it's all organic potting soil, so should be good and it's not too hot or anything. It doesn't really, the pile doesn't really heat up. So um, I like to just fill these gallon pots, which I got for free with the soil from underneath these tarps. And I just fill up a bunch of them all at once. Cause I have a lot of cuttings. If you don't have a lot of cuttings, well, you just gotta do one, two, three. It's not a big deal. But I just go and I poke a hole with my stick dibbler and I just go and punch a hole all the way to the bottom in every container and you can see I've already done that all right pretty self-explanatory not difficult and I've already done some right here that I've potted up so let me show you how to do this we're going to take a fig cutting here this came from my hydroponic system look at those roots they did great. Very simple to do. Hardly any work. They just sat in here for about, in the hydroponic system for about three months. And they're ready to go. Now I have probably close to 100 fig cuttings. And I'll have 100 new trees. These are brown turkey uh, figs. Actually got it from a cutting from a neighbor. And I made all these plants in about three months. It's insane. So let me show you how to do this here. Let's talk about these cuttings first. Uh, there's two ways I put these in the hydroponic system. First way, well, both are in net cups, all right? But this one is in an oasis cube. So I just take that net cup off, take off that cube. Which I think is biodegradable, but I'm going to take it off anyway. Set that down. I have this other way, which is in a net cup with a pool noodle that I cut up in little pieces, kind of clamps around the stem and fits perfect in that net cup to so hold it in there. In fact, I think you might not even need that, but it helps prevent algae in the hydroponic system so the, the light doesn't get to it. All right, just throw that to the side. So well, that's a pretty good root system. Good enough. So after this, we just put it in the hole. Just gonna kinda try to push these roots down into the bottom of that hole. I'm trying to bunch them, not trying to bunch them up a lot. Get them in there and push that soil down around it really hard nice and tight. Same with this one. 
the roots are longer, you might kind of have to wiggle it in there. Throw some dirt around it. Push that in there. Just like that. All right. Some leaves that aren't desirable, so I'm gonna pinch those off. Help it with establish some, some roots here. This one looks good though. Very nice color. This one's a little lacking, but it'll catch up. Wouldn't worry about it. So after that, all you have to do is water these in. All right. So let's just put them on our little trusty cart here. And it'll be ready to go. I got to roll these in side tonight because it's going to be, I think, 27 degrees tonight. We're going to have a late freeze here down in uh, South Louisiana. I think it's March the 19th, 2023. That's pretty late for us, but technically the last frost date is March the 21st for my area. But just in case, we're going to throw these babies inside tonight. Uh, make sure they're watered in real well, and I'm going to roll them in the barn, and they're going to be fine. Done it plenty of times. But let's walk over and see some that I potted up a few weeks ago. All right, these babies I potted up about two weeks ago, I guess. There's about ten of them, I think. But they've gotten so much bigger. I mean, you saw the plants that I had that were maybe eight to ten inches tall once you pot them up and these are definitely reaching a foot so they're looking pretty good but i'm gonna roll these inside tonight so they're all right along with some other stuff that i've got some blueberries and some blackberries and stuff like that that i just bought a pineapple guava maybe my apple trees might need to go in because they're in containers so I would say the hydroponics system for propagating these figs has been a great success. I want to have an entire orchard of figs by the time I'm done with this. So about 100 fig trees, so I think that's going to be plenty to keep me busy for a while. The next project for the hydroponic system, I'll give you a little preview, and I bought a bunch of blackberries the other day, all thornless varieties. They're pretty much bare root, so they're not coming. They got a little bit coming out right now, but I'm gonna use these as mother plants. I wanna plant them in the field and then take cuttings from those and experiment in the hydroponics to propagate those. And also, I have some already in the field, but some blueberry plants I'm gonna take some cuttings from, and I've already started some cuttings inside. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Another thing I'm gonna do, I finally found some apples that do good in my area. Uh, one is an Anna apple, one's a Dorset, and they don't need very many chill hours. So I'm going to try experimenting with uh, propagating those as well, maybe do an espalier. That's how I'm going to do the figs, I think. I haven't really decided yet. And then I got this pineapple guava that I bought today, actually. And that's supposed to be pretty prolific and very hardy, so I'm excited about that, to have something that seems tropical in my garden all right so this is the beginnings of an orchard i can't wait hopefully i'll take you along on the ride you'll have a great day bye bye don't forget to water your plants in and you probably would want to put them in the shade keep everything in the shade for two weeks to two months let them get it more established before you plant them out in the field or somewhere in your garden. That's what I'm doing here. I keep them on the side of my barn. All right, which gets a little bit of afternoon shade, some dappled sunlight. I mean, it stays in shade all day and then it gets a little afternoon sun, but it's really dappled light right up against the barn because way over there is the woods. So the sun comes over this way. So I have this huge oak tree right here. 
in the woods to help uh, dapple that light. So I keep all my fruit trees or whatever I propagate right here. So here's the hydroponic system that I cleaned out all the figs, had uh, three or four muscadine vines in here. And uh, also have these blueberry cuttings. That's all that's left in here right now. I took some green wood cuttings, these blueberries, and they started to leaf out already. It hasn't been that long. It's really hard to tell, but I don't think there's any roots on there yet. I'm wondering if I should maybe have shaved with a razor blade down here first. I might try that on some of the other cuttings I'm going to take soon. But anyway, it's a good sign. They started to leaf out, so we'll see. I even have a little piece of a tomato I put in here. Uh, the tomatoes that I have in the grow room over there. And up here, they're getting very, very tall. They need to go out in the high tunnels very soon. Uh, I'm just waiting for those temperatures to warm up a little bit more. But they are ready to go. But one broke off, so I stuck it in here to see how it would do. It's not from a, uh, a sucker. So I don't know. We'll see if it roots. But anyway, that is a preview of what will be my next propagation project, blueberries. Mm -hmm.